Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. So I got a question. How do I combine multiple hard drive into one big volume? So here's how. This tutorial is assuming that you have two additional hard drives. Now, if I go to this PC here, I'm using Windows 10. The same applies to Windows 8.1 and Windows 7. I have a 250 gig hard drive with dummy content pretending that is actual content. Now, I have already installed a 750 gig hard drive. You don't see it here because it's not formatted yet. But I'm going to make this drive a one terabyte drive, combining it with a 750 gigabyte hard drive. Now, if I go to disk management, you'll notice here that I have two hard drives, the 250 gig that you saw and the 750 gig hard drive that I'm going to combine it with the 250 gig creating a big volume. Now all I need to do is just right click on the drive that is being used and click on extend volume. Click next to the wizard and then add the second hard drive in this case is, is 750 gigs disk 2. I can add as many hard drives as I want and make that uh, volume much bigger click on next and finish the wizard click yes to the warning this means that it'll turn your hard drive into dynamic disks if you notice it has a purple line there that means that is spanned volume if you want to know what spanned volume means I have a link in the description box that will help you now I'm using those two drives space as one hard drive if I go to this PC you'll notice I'm using a one terabyte instead of 200 and gigabyte 250 gigabyte drive another way of doing this is having two uh, empty drives as you can see you can right click any other drives and select new spanned volume you can select stripe if you want but you have to know what you're gonna use it for in this case I'll use spanned volume for this tutorial click next to the wizard and again you can add as many hard drives as you want in this case I only just I only have one so I'll select it click on add and next to the wizard here you can change the drive letter if you want change the volume label perform a quick format all that is optional. Click next and finish the wizard. Again, click on yes. It'll turn your hard drive into dynamically allocated drives. Once done, both drives are going to be used as one drive. Now, the downside to this is that if one of those hard drive fails, all your information is gone. You will need a constant backup of those drives. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.